today we are going to see new topic that is factorization when given expression is a perfect square that means a plus b whole square and a minus b whole square here we have few problem related to this concept and we will try to understand how to solve this type of problem let's see one by one first one x square plus 8x plus 16 so we have x square plus 8x plus 16 now what will we do look at the question it is already starting with a descending order so whenever you get problems if it is in this form like 16 plus x square plus 8x if it would be given you like this and ask you to find the factorization or factorize not uh, factorization factorize it we need to find your yeah, factorization form we need to find so if you look at this one you will think that's a what type of problem it is so in this case what you have to do you have to write this part in this order that means descending order so how could you find this in order look at x power variable power 2 variable power 1 and there's no value or you can keep another standard way that is 16 plus 8x plus x square that means x power 0, x power 1, x power 2 ascending or descending order you can follow but generally we will go for your descending order so before getting the problem you just look at that it is in a standard form or not descending order or ascending order or not after that we need to see the middle part if you look at the middle one you can see that there is a plus if there is a plus that means which one now? look at here there is a plus we'll use this one or before that you just check that the outer two the extreme part extreme term are perfect square or not here you can see that yes x square is already x square and the 16 can be written as 4 square so that means this can be written in this form and we can convert into a plus b whole square so your first target you break this one a square plus b square and if you look at that a square and b square we have got that means middle part should be 2ab break it by the way 2 into a is x and b into b is 4 and if you check reverse way you can see that 2 4 to 8 and there is a a that is 8x will get the quotient will be given such a way that if you get last two part automatically the middle will support here okay according to your syllabus so here right now we have a square plus 2ab plus b square now we can write a plus b whole square or you can give answer a plus b a plus b okay this is your factorization from a given expression now we'll enter into the second part if you look at that is 1 minus 2x plus x square descending order we are getting in descending order no problem both are in a standard form we'll see so here 1 minus 2x plus x square and here we can see that the middle part is in minus that means a minus b form and before that check the extreme part they are perfect or not yes it is perfect one curve square will give you one only and then it's two into this will give you one into b that is x square we are getting a square minus 2ab plus b square which can be written as a minus b whole square okay. this can be written as 1 minus x 1 minus x now student may ask the question the question is what if if they will write in a descending order like this if they write x square minus 2a plus 1 then they will give for x square minus 2 into a into b plus b square and we get x minus 1 whole square and this will give you x minus 1 x minus 1 the question is that is this one is correct or this one is correct so here is the question think it yes both are equal here why sir 
you are saying that 1 minus x and that is your x minus 1 both are same. No, both are not same in that case if you take single single part. But if you look at both 1 minus x, 1 minus x and then x minus 1, x minus 1. Then we can see that from here we can take out 1x, 1 minus common and from here 1 minus common and minus minus give you plus and we get the same result. That means if you take see here this is a square. In square, if you do the negative part like 1, uh, uh, take here 5, 5 whole square will give you 25 and 5 whole square will give you 25. When you do square on any negative or positive, you will get the positive number. So, single or multiple, but if you take both together in a multiply from, then your result remains same. So, either you use this concept or this, both are equal here. Okay? So, don't get confused that sir, if I make in this form, I give this answer and my friend getting this one, are they wrong? No, both are same. Okay. Now next, uh, we will proceed the third number. We will see the third number. Let's see. So, we have 1 to 1 a square minus 88 a plus 16 b square. Now you may think that sir, it is quite too bigger in a number. Shall I? How about x? Express this part, no need to worry. Look at the extreme term. If you look at this one, is what 11a whole square. Please do not write like this. Many students are writing like this 11a square. That's totally wrong. Because if you write 11 a square, showing that there's no power for 11, only for a square. That is wrong. Okay. Both are not equal. Remember, 11a square is not equal to 11a. Whole square is not equal. So don't get confused when this type of term will be there. So now what we have to do, we need to take a back. Minus k is limit. Go for this one. 4b whole square. That means this is your a and this will be your b. And according to formula, we have two a b. Now you check it that you are right or not. 2, 4, 8. 11 88 and a to b will give you a b you can see that just to get the last two extreme term and their uh, what perfect square or not you just check it and then you express it so here you will get 11 a mm. minus 4 b whole square or 4 b minus 11 a whole square both are equal here okay now next we will see that is fourth on one we have seen. I hope that third one you can do but because both are same here but similar not same. Next we will see your fifth one. That is m to the power 4 plus 2 m square n square plus n to the power 4. How are we going to do? There is a plus, simply we write m square power square plus m square into n square plus n square to the power square. That is a square plus 2ab plus b square and which can be written as a plus b whole square. This is your answer. You can give your answer in this form or you can give your answer in this form. Both are correct. Now we will see the last one. You may look at this one and this is not look like perfect square. Yeah, but it is a perfect square. This given expression is a perfect square. We will break this one very easy and very simple problem but look like quite difficult. Okay, don't worry. We will see now how to solve it. Question number 6. So here the question number 6 you could see that is L and whole square minus 4 L. That means if you break this part, break it, we'll get a square plus 2ab plus b square minus 4l. Now if you do the addition for this two term, 
टू एल एम माइनस टू एल प्लस माइनस फोर एल एम यू विल गेट माइनस टू एल एम दैट मीन्स एल स्क्वायर गेट माइनस टू एल एम प्लस एम स्क्वायर एंड इट बिकम योर फॉर्मला ए स्क्वायर माइनस टू ए बी प्लस बी स्क्वायर एंड वी विल राइट लाइक दिस एल माइनस एम होल स्क्वायर और यू विल गिव योर आंसर एल माइनस एम इन टू एल माइनस एम दिस इज योर आंसर आई होप इट इज क्लियर